I have an astronaut series that um, has been a lot of fun. Hunter, thanks for inviting us to your studio today for advancing your photography. It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay, tell me about your approach to photography and the type of work you love to do. Well, my approach to photography, uh, for me, it seems to be pretty basic, I think. Um, I like creating um, memorable images, uh, images that have some compelling quality to them. That's pretty much where I start. I mean, I, I, all the wonderful things that people can see in the world, and uh, I still like seeing those things, whether it's a person or a place or whatever, and um, my approach is to just kind of keep my eyes open uh, most of the time. Is there any kind of like formula to getting that compelling image? Not for me. Um, I think it really varies. I mean, I'm so eclectic in my tastes that, I, that I, th I find fun things and interesting things and beautiful things all over the place, inside, outside, you know, nature, people, things, the smallest things, big things. Uh, yeah, it really varies all over the place. Okay, Hunter, as far as composition, what would be some good tips to improve composition? I start with, for myself, I start with the, the KISS principle, which is keep it simple, stupid. Uh, um, oftentimes I'll add things into a picture or end up cluttering them up, but I always try to remember, you know, is, are these things needed? And even if it's, just, if it's pictures I'm just taking on the street or whatever, uh, try to remember that so that I'm, I have an image that's simple enough that's uh, in, in terms of graphic quality that it works. Um, which is you know, not to say that you know, something that can be really complicated like a pile of wires or you know, a scrap metal yard that has a pile of rebar isn't interesting, but then it becomes more of a texture, but basically simple. I mean, when you, I mean, I have to look at things in my pictures and go, is this adding to it or just distracting? And um, that, that's really what I try to do. Do you actually, on a shoot, do you end up just pulling things out of the shot to simplify it? Yeah, and sometimes, I'll, yes, exactly. Sometimes I'll, I'll pull them out just to see what, even if I think it's right, I'll pull it out just to go, oh, well, no, it is better with it in. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes, you know, just changing it around completely, if it's somehow not working, that to me means I have to change something. So I'll, I'll look at it again and just maybe just randomly change something just to see how that affects it. Tell me about some of your recent collections. Uh, I, I have a few projects that I've worked on and, and I try to always work on more. Um, in the past, there's a, one that I, <laughs> I, want, I would like to do many more on. Uh, the, the trouble is getting down to LA where the, the suit is, but I have an astronaut series that um, has been a lot of fun. And that started pretty much by accident because I, I had to rent an astronaut suit, but those, those images were a lot of fun. Uh, just thinking of things to do with it. Um, more recently, I started doing a series of diptychs, just photographs that related to each other uh, in some way. And uh, those have been a, a lot of fun to work on. Just the, the, all the diptychs don't relate necessarily to each other, except that in the sense that they uh, hopefully have a sense of humor that people can relate to. Yeah. Okay, in terms of creating that image that does draw people in, that gets that emotion or whatever it is you're looking for, how do you do that? Wow, um, it's, so, it's difficult to kind of quantify this uh, or to describe it adequately, yeah. but um, the word I keep coming back to uh, is, is compelling. You know, what, what makes something compelling? It's like saying, what makes compelling food? And, and for lots of people, including me, it's all kinds of different tastes. So same thing with photographs for me. I think so many different things are interesting that I think I'm hard pressed to find a category or a subject or a thing that isn't inherently almost interesting. And so the point isn't so much um, is that thing interesting to begin with, is like I have to find it, find what's interesting and, and amazing about this and try to capture that, let it be revealed to me somehow or to everybody. Let's talk about that process. So mm -hmm. how do you find it, and then how do you reveal it? Um, I, I, look for I try to look for qualities, honestly. Um, uh, and whether it's, like if it's an object, you know, how does the light interact with it, or how is it used, for example. Um, and with a person, I mean, people can relate to this probably pretty easily. Um, what is the person like? How are, they, well, how are they when they're relaxed? How are they when they're working? 
you know, how are they, if they're just talking about their subject like I am now, it's, you know, what's going to bring out the qualities of that person or object, but in a person, you know, are they funny? Do they want to tell a story? You know, what is their job like? Do they like talking about their job, their kids, their, where they're from, where they were on vacation? You know, that's the process. I try to find out more about it. I mean, I heard, I heard an interesting thing one time about Irving Penn when he would take portraits of people. He would, he would not even pull out a camera or have a camera. He would just sit down like we are and talk to somebody for a while mm. and get to know them. And I thought that was a terrific idea. And so I try to, even with the little time that I'm photographing something for an advertising client, even if it's just talent, I'll, I try to get to know them because I, I don't want it to be just talent photographer. I want to be able to, if I'm trying to get an actual real moment out of them, I, I have to know something about them. How do you do that? Any, any piece of advice for a viewer who just wants to be able to zone in on that particular moment? Well, actually, since we're on video, that's what I will tell people oftentimes when I'm shooting them. Uh, whether it's a portrait or for a job or just something I'm doing for myself, I'll, I'll tell them uh, that I don't want them to pose. I'll want them to, if, and if there's two people, I, to, if they're supposed to be talking or look like they're talking or interacting somehow, I, I tell them, pretend that this is a video. You know, I don't want you to stop mm. because a real moment happens. You can't, I don't think you can pose a real moment unless you're landing on the moon or something, I suppose. But otherwise, that real moment happens when somebody just kind of st- you know, makes a funny expression or pauses for a second and they're just, or makes some comment to somebody and just, they become relaxed in, in the continuity of what they're doing and they're not worried about having one specific moment be the picture. And that's how I do it. I tell people just, the camera is rolling, just like now. And I'll, it's my job to get it. You know, that's, that's what I do. Hunter, any final advice for viewers who just want to get better photographs? To me, learn how to use everything and then just let, let yourself be a little free about how or what you produce. And you'll be fine. And, and basically be fearless. It's like cooking. I think the key to cooking is the same way. You're fearless. Just try it. I mean, what do you, what do you have to worry about? You got like electrons to deal with. You got plenty of electrons. Nobody's running out of the electrons these days, and yeah. you know, don't like that one. Reformat the card, start again. You know, and uh, yeah, just be fearless about it. I think. Hunter, thanks for inviting us and for giving us an inside look into your world of photography. My pleasure. Good to have you here, and hope to see you soon. You bet. I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to watch the next video coming up on the right of your screen there. Hey, my goal is to help you advance as a photographer. You can help us by sharing, liking, subscribing, and make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave your comments below. We'll get back to you, I promise. And until next time, remember to get out and capture your own images of life.